where the bait at. We're just gonna let the leads do the work. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Captain Mike with RuralPorts.com and today I'm doing a cast net video. In a previous video, I showed you guys how to put the cast net in one hand, you're not putting it over your shoulder and you're not putting it in your teeth. You're putting it all in one hand and you're throwing it. Now that works extremely well for cast nets between the size of three feet and about eight feet. But when you get up to the heavier cast nets, the bigger cast nets, that method is gonna be really difficult for you guys. So in this video, I'm showing you the three-piece method. And the three-piece method is awesome because you divide the net into three pieces and you're distributing the weight. Instead of having all the weight of the net into one hand, like the no teeth method, you're distributing the weight over your shoulder and in each hand. It makes the net extremely light and makes the throw very, very effortless. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. Today, I'm gonna be using an eight foot cast net that's three ace mesh and 1.25 pound per foot. This is your great all purpose net. You can catch baits between the size of three inches all the way up to 12 inches. It works well for a lot of applications. I want to see you guys start on the 8 or 10 foot cast net when you're throwing the three piece method because it's just more manageable. Why not learn on a smaller net and then we'll get up to the 12 and 14. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to do a separate video showing you guys how to throw the 12 and 14 footer. But today we're throwing the 8 footer. Keep it simple. We're going to show you how to do it. Now I've told you guys I want you to practice safety out there. I don't want this to go on your wrist super tight. Exactly, I want it to be loose. If you're forming a noose around your wrist here and you're pulling this tight, if you were to throw in the water and your neck gets caught in your trolling motor, sometimes you throw the big nets, they go over manatees, they go over porpoises, they go over big fish. You're gonna get pulled in with this. You're gonna be attached to that. You do not want that. You want this to be extremely loose and you wanna start on your left hand here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one foot coils with my rope. This is about 30 feet of floating line right here. Doing just one, one foot coils. Okay. When we get to our horn, I'm gonna go ahead and take the net out of the bucket here. When we get to our horn, the first thing I like to do is to make sure I have no twist or tangles in the net. This is pretty much the most important part of throwing a cast net. If you have any tangles, you're always gonna struggle to open up the net. So I like to look right here. Just 
make sure the net's pretty clear. So just looking for tangles here. And that's a pretty clear net now. So we're making sure we have no twist in the cast net. If this net is twisted up like this, the net's not gonna open. You actually shorten your net by that much. This is an eight foot net. You wanna maximize the entirety of it. So the first grab we're gonna do, we're gonna go down only about a foot and a half right there. So here's kind of the secret sauce, guys. Instead of putting the net in my palm, I'm gonna put the net between my fingers right here, right? And you can see the reason I do that is because when you put it in your palm, there's some thick cast that's out there. It'll be super, super thick in your palm. If you go between your finger, you're gonna have a lot more room in your palm right there. So the first grab I got is between my fingers here. The next grab I'm gonna do is about waist high right here. So basically run your right hand down the net, come to your waist right about there. And now we're gonna grab right here with our left hand. So the net is all in our left hand right here. And you guys see the way I grab that with my wrist facing up right there. I kind of hold the net and there you go, right? The entire net is in my left hand right now. Now the first move I always make with an eight foot net is I just whip a little bit over my right leg. That's about all you need right there for an eight foot net, just that little bunch. Now this is the hardest part of the throw. This is the hardest part of doing the three piece right here. So you gotta pay extra attention. We're gonna go around our elbow and up and over our shoulder and just rest that on there. Let me do that again for you guys. So again, we're gonna whip, whip out a little bit of net here. It's about all you need. We're gonna go around our elbow, up and over our back, right? That's the first load. The weight of the leads over here is pulling down on the leads on my back, which are keeping it there. If you stay up here and you stay loose, the leads will just fall right off your shoulder. So make sure you're holding some weight and pulling down right there. So now we got the first load over our shoulder. The next part, we're gonna grab the inside lead line here, the lead line coming right off my elbow right here. And we're gonna divide this lead pile right here in the 50% sections. So generally with an eight foot net, I know I have to fan about three times or three and a half. So we're just gonna do one, two, and three. Now I got 50% over my right arm here and I got 50% down there. I'm just gonna drop that over my right leg, okay? All right, the next step here, we're gonna take our pinky and we're gonna grab the lead line that's on the inside here. The pinky's the easiest because I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab that 50% pile. Now, if you guys look, the net is completely draped open over my body. You can see, I just need to throw this right here. We got a third in our right hand, a third in our left hand, and a third over our back. It's open, the rest is super easy. I call this method effortless because it really is. It doesn't take a lot of strength, especially on the eight and 10 foot nets, because we're using the weight of the cast net to create momentum and throw. We're literally just rocking the leads, coming back and throwing. You don't wanna be aggressive with this. This is kind of a finesse move. When you kind of push off your body a little bit, come back and just explode at the end, keeping this piece in your pinky at the very end, that's how you're gonna get a good open. So let's go ahead and start this from the beginning. So the first thing we're doing is we're putting all the coils in our left hand. You guys choose what hand is best for you. I'm gonna go down an eight footer, about there. I'm putting the first coil into my left hand in between my fingers. I'm grabbing down about to my hip. I'm splitting the net. That's about all I need for an eight footer right there. Going up and over my shoulder. That's it. And now I'm gonna split 50%. One, two, three. That's all you need for an eight footer. Drop it over my leg. We're gonna grab that pile. Now I'm gonna come at you right there. All right, you guys can see there, just a perfect pancake. And how effortless did my throw look? 
how effortless was that? I literally just came back a little bit and exploded. My pinky kind of went like this, kind of like I throw that Frisbee, and that's it. So I'm gonna throw this in the water. I wanna show you guys just how easy it is and how it lands in the water. You guys can practice all day on the lawn, really get this. It's gonna help you guys really open your net. This method opens the net, no doubt about it. All right, guys, so that's how to throw an eight foot cast net using the three piece method. It's really one of the easiest methods for throwing big and heavy nets. In a future video, I'm gonna throw the 10, 12, and 14, so be sure to subscribe so you get that video. But honestly, it's the same exact method. What's great about this method, you're dividing it into three pieces. You know, a heavy net becomes not so heavy at that point. You're using kind of the centrifugal force of the leads and you're slinging them out there and the net kind of opens itself on its own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, let me know, comment down below, which method do you like better? In a previous video, I showed you how to put it all in one hand and throw it out there. You don't get soaking wet like I am right now. You don't put it in your teeth. It's easy to throw, especially the four, six, and eight footers. But tell me what you guys like. I'm gonna pick a winner to get a free buff as well as this exact t-shirt. You know, not the one I'm wearing. I'm gonna give you guys a new one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because I got a lot of cool stuff coming out, guys. Tight lines and great fishing. We got baits at the boat ramp right here. Gotta get this load quick. People think the three-piece load on the big nets is slow. It's gonna take you a while. It is not, dudes. Just make sure we got no twist in our net. Grab down to about our waist. Sling this about that much. That's gonna go over our shoulder right here. Now we're just gonna divide the net in half. Drop it over our leg. How long did that take? 15 seconds? Where the bait at? We're just gonna let the leads do the work. See how beautiful that throw is? I know you guys are gonna be able to do the exact throw. You're gonna get out there, catch some bait, have a great time. The centrifugal force of the lead just kind of pulling them back right there, rocking them like a pendulum. And then you kind of explode at the end. Your pinky here is gonna kind of spread out a little bit. That's bait. Thing about the three-piece method is you really want to be one and done you want to be able to throw on the bait and get them on the first or second time otherwise you're gonna get soaked you're probably gonna get a little bit tired whereas the other method we're putting it all in one hand you're not getting wet or dirty at all you know I got a 10 12 14 footer on the boat I'm just gonna get wet and then we got a bait well full of bait it's not gonna matter how wet or cold I am so Got to weigh some options, right? I got soaked and it's hot out here. 